Hi everyone and welcome to day 38. So this meditation will be around us being of service, how we can be of service. So before I start talking you through this meditation, if you want to get yourselves into your positions, whether you are seated or you're lying down. So if you're seated, um, obviously feet flat on the ground, soft shoulders, palms facing upwards. And if you're in a seated position where you're not in a chair, make sure your spine's nice and straight for me. And soft shoulders, palms open to receive him. And if you're lying down, a blanket, soft shoulders, palms open to receive him. And start using now those cycles of breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And keep doing that for me as this will be the cycle of breath we use throughout this meditation. So, this meditation won't ask you to invite your inner guide forward to enter this meditation. Ask your inner guide to help get you out of your own way. So, these are what you need to ask your inner guide. Inner guide, help me get out of my own way. How can I be of service to someone else? Please show me who to serve and how to serve. What miracles would you have me perform? So after you've asked this, sit in stillness and listen to your inner guide. So I'm going to then leave you there for a couple of moments. To allow your inner guide to come forward and give you the information that is required at this time.
So now I'm going to invite you to start writing down the direction the inner guide has given you. If you haven't experienced this strong sense of direction straight away, trust that it's coming. You will be guided to know how you need to be of service. The service action can be something as simple as calling to ask if someone needs help or do, donate money to charity. It doesn't need to be something humongous and all-encompassing. It can be sometimes the most beautiful calls of service are in those small and what may seem like an insignificant moment, but it's not insignificant, not in the eyes of the universe, because you are listening to that call of service. Trust the voice of love that's guiding you and commit fully to serve. It's important that you commit um, to the service action as soon as you get it. Um, any delay kind of allows our ego to step in, to get in the way, it gives excuses, distractions. Um, so try your best to follow your inner guide to be of service. So fair enough, if you're doing this late at night, you probably you may not be able to act on it straight away. What I would recommend is setting yourself an alarm in the morning with the details, um, or even if you just um, write for the alarm, if you can rename it, um, see journal be of service just to give your memory that prompt once you've taken that action you know trust that you know you've done the right thing your ego will try and step in place and it'll try to convince that you've maybe gone too far you've gave too much you've wasted your time instead Sit in stillness, enjoy the benefits of being served, enjoy the feeling that it gave you for being of service. And if any thoughts of the ego do come in, say, I choose to see love instead, I forgive this thought. So, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's exercises. Thanks, guys. <laughs>